everyone today I am going to teach you how to make a timeline so this is for your performance task and I hope that this video will help you um, uh, when you are making your timeline okay so let's start with the different things that we are going to use first we're going to use um, double-sided tape or glue it's up to you scissor a puncher, a paper, one uh, with the darker shade and what did the lighter one. So I just have this kind of paper here. I don't have any colored paper, but you may use bond paper, uh, Oslo paper or construction paper. Okay, and also we are going to use um, ruler and also yarn or anything that you may use like a string and also another one we are going to use um, a marker okay so let's start our timeline now so what you're going to do first is fold the paper into two make sure you balance it with both of the sides so when you're done doing that so we have um, just make sure first uh, how many chapters or events that you are going to include. For example, today we're going to include 10. So you're done with this, but if it's 10, let's just give like 2 inches per chapter. So we need 20 of this one, 20 of small paper. So let's measure this one first for by 10. Okay, so this is... The measurement for 10 inches so this is 10 inches oh sorry just like that you measure it like this and another one here to make it accurate 10 inches also okay and you connect the two there so just put add more lines for your guide later Okay, so if you're done with that one, just cut it. Cut the dotted lines or the lines that you made. Cut it. Just make sure it is a straight line. Be careful when you are using scissors, okay? And this might hurt you if you are not careful enough to use it. So now this is 10 inches. So 10 inches divided by 5 chapters. So we have 2. So this is 2 inches here. Okay, so let's measure 2 inches. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, and then 1, 2. Another one here in the middle. Okay, 1, 2, 1, 2. Just make sure your uh, measurement is accurate. So you have like a somewhat like almost perfect timeline. Okay. There. So, it includes 2 inches. So, what you're going to do is you cut it. Okay? You cut it there. Cut it like that. Just follow the lines earlier. Do not be confused. Just follow it properly. Okay, so, you have the first one and you cut this one. So, there. You have one and you're going to cut it again into two it's up to you if you want to make it bigger but a simple timeline you may use this there. so this is the size of our um, timeline so this is the size it's just like the size of a palm so later on you will know that we are going to still do like this so if this is two inches let's try if this is two inches yes it is how about this part two inches also almost it's not accurate Joanna. there okay so two inches per side and we'll do it again for the other side so i think it's better if we're going to trace it like this sometimes i can see it properly there so now we're going to
So let's count how many. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Only 8. So we still need more. More of this one. Okay. <coughs> so 2. So it's 10 already. Set aside the other papers. Just like this. So how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, sorry. 8. I'm going to do the counting. 10. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So now we have 10. And with a size of 2 inches. Okay. And for this one, this will serve as like a border. So what you're going to do, because they just uh, have the same size, what you're going to do is you fold this one. Also, just like what you did earlier, you fold it. And then, cut this. So, we're going to put this, two of our boxes will fit here. Okay? So, meaning what you're going to do is, you're just going to put one. Okay? And one also. Okay? Four. And five. Okay? So, let's divide this one into five. So, meaning if I'm going to divide this, all of this will turn into, or it will have six, six folds. So, what you're going to do is, you will fold it like this, and make sure that all of them has the same size. Just like that. Okay. And after that, you fold it. And you fold it again another time. So for this task, you may ask the help of your parents or guardians. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut it. So I'm so just cut it like this. This is how it looks like when it's already cut. And what you're going to do is you put it here, you attach this one here. And there's a space here wherein you can add another one but a small one. Okay, so this is 2 inches. So you cut the remaining papers into 2. Just like this. And you put it like this. Okay, so here you will draw. In this part you will draw. In this part, you will write the date or the time, okay? So, let's attach it or let's um, put some double-sided tape so we can already attach it with one another. So, let's use this side. Let's remove it. Put this one in the lower part. Very timeline. There. There. So you have this one. So it's like a... It looks like a cell phone. So here, you're going to draw the highlight of the chapter. And here, you are going to write the uh, important event. Okay? Or, I mean, you write the title here. For example, um, I'm going to draw here... Um, America when they declared their independence in chapter um, I think it's chapter 10 if I'm not mistaken it's chapter 10 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put here um, chapter 10 in this part chapter 10 I don't know if I can still use this here chapter 10 
chapter 10. So you put here, independence. Okay? So you put the title here. It's up to you how you're going to make it if you want to make it bigger or smaller. Like chapter 10 and then the title. Okay, so for example, this one. And you're going to draw here um, the highlight of the chapter. For example, I will draw the, the there's a person. There's a person like that. Okay, and he is holding the flag of America. Okay, so for example, this is the person. He's holding the flag of America. Just like that. So it can be like this. So this is chapter 10. And this is how are you going to do um, your, uh, how do you call this one again? Timeline. Okay, so you put the chapter here and the title of the chapter and you put the highlights here of the important event or the drawing. Okay, so this is the first page and I will do the other pages and I will go back to you guys. So I just made a pipe first. So now what you're going to do is you're going to um, attach this one with a string. So how are you going to do that one? So first, you get your um, puncher and you're going to punch this with holes. So for example, this one, you punch this with holes. Okay. Just make sure it's in the middle. There. The other one also there so this is the hole for that and another one and you can the others so now there is a hole like that see there's a hole in there so what you're going to do now is you get your yarn or any string that you may use be able for you to um, attach this with one another so with mine, I will use yarn. So what you're going to do is you attach it backwards. So this is the front view. And you will get the yarn and put it inside. And like this one. There. So you can see it goes under the timeline um, pages. And the other one also. Okay. Just always um, start at the back. Okay. one so again it's up to you about the colors of the paper pages but it's better if the other one is a darker shade and the other one is lighter so if you want to use black as if you want to use black as the border it's okay but make sure this part is lighter okay i just use brown and oh, i just use brown and black because i don't have um, other colors with me today so i just use this okay so this one so do not be like this or don't do like this okay just make sure you put it first under and then like this so this is how your timeline looks like when they are attached with one another and just like that yep let's just move it yes like that so this is your diy timeline and the chapters are here and yep so i know my my chapters or my pages are not that um, perfect but it's okay now so that's it for today so this is how you're going to make your timeline or if you want you may also attach the back of it to a paper if you want for example we got a paper here so what you're going to do is you're going to fold it like this just like that and you fold it like that fold it there and when you're done just put some double-sided tape or glue here at the back part like that. and also this part inside so this is just an alternative if you don't have any string in your house. So you may also do this one. So you fold it like that. And you have like this. Okay, so what you're going to do is attach it at the back. Like that. So it will also stick with one another. Okay, so if I'm going to flip it like that, it will look like this. Okay, so you may do this, just make this one longer because it's 10 chapters and this can serve as your string if you don't have string in your house. Another um, way to make your um, DIY timeline, if you, want to, if you want to make it a simple one, just fold the paper first into two, just like this, and you cut it. Okay, you cut it here, and then get the other one, then again cut it. 
because I'm not using a paper. Uh, I'm not using other dark colored papers, so I will not use borders. If you want that, if you want that way, you may do that also if you're just going to make a plain one. Okay, so a plain one, just like this. Okay, so this is a plain one. There, and we put it on one more time. Okay, so this uh, pieces will serve as your timeline already. So, for example, here you will put here the drawing of a man holding the flag. Just like that. Okay, so here in the small side of it, just like that, and in the small side of it, you may put here, like, chapter 10, the declaration of... American independence, just like this. So you may do this also if you want to, it's up to you. So you may follow the first one, that one there is a border if you want it to look more presentable. But you may also do this, at the dreams. And also if you want to do other things, just make sure there's something that will be attached like that. Okay, so it will make us a timeline, just like that. Okay, so another one here. And another one and another one, or you may use the yarn that uh, we used earlier for our other timeline. Okay, so um, I hope this um, video helped you to make your timeline for our lesson from chapters 10 to uh, from chapters 1 to 10. Okay, you may also do this if you want to, like you're just going to attach this at the back without punching anything, and you may do that with this technique. Just get the double sided tape, just make sure it's in the middle. It's right if it's lengthwise, so there's harder grip with that one. And ding, that's it, you have it. Okay? And you may do that to the other parts of the timeline. So that's it. Thank you for watching.